Uh, so, um, what what did I say the date was? It's Tuesday, something the fourth of September, two thousand twelve. Oh, right. Yeah. So, um, uh, I'm here with uh, Tim Levy talking about uh, carpal tunnel. So, um, a lot of people, a lot of times, people have wrist challenges because they're, like you mentioned, picking up your kids all the picking time. Up my kids, and I think the computer mouse as well. Yeah, mousing. Because when I was doing um, acupuncture, the finger that went numb was that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, uh, one of the things is, you know, simple thing is make sure you've got an ergonomic mouse that really fits your hand. Like I experimented with mice for years until I found one that just feels really good. And that's, right. that's the one I use. Right. Um, and so uh, the, the, the thing about uh, carpal tunnel, um, you know, especially that wrist thing, if you think about, um, you know, you've got a ball and a joint and what sits in between is that liquid tissue material called synovial fluid. Only it, it's it's fluid, but it's like um, it's almost like a polymer. It's a you know, if you you know pulled your joint apart, you could actually take out this this stuff that is kind of like um, uh, it it resembles uh, young coconut meat. And so, um, if you'd like to dramatically improve the the uh, health of your synovial fluid, which by the way is if you uh, if you've got challenges with your wrists yeah you also have other challenges that are in process because everything that happens one place it only surfaces wherever the weakest link is like you probably have challenges with your synovial fluid in every joint it's just that you're doing more repetitive movement with your wrist so you notice that first you know another 10 or 20 years from now you might notice it all over your body and you know people call that you know Arthritis. different it's not really arthritis by the technical term, but they call it that because they, joint pain is normally associated with that term in most people's mind. Anyway, synovial fluid is made up of three primary big honking components. Uh, you can think of it as like making a stucco house. So um, the, the uh, frame that you build a stucco house with is made up of, um, of um, like a lattice work, which is MSM sulfur. And then the fasteners that hold the lattice work to work together is vitamin C. And what gets spread on the actual stucco is essential fatty acids. And so those three components, if you really bump up, um, like uh, Yamaya does a lot of working out, so she drinks a lot of uh, Camu Camu and MSM mixtures. And also, if you notice in Chocolate Bliss, one of the reasons I think people feel so good and have such great effect is that the, the sulfur content per serving is out the roof. In fact, I ought to put that on the label. Um, there is no... Yeah, that's interesting. See, there's... Is it MSM for Nelly or M for M Mary? Mary. MSM. Um, I, it's some long... MM some, something sulfate. I choose to remember what the exact name is, but MSM. Uh, so it's a, a, um, a distilled sulfur. And so... Um, uh, I was talking with a guy, the smartest guy I've ever talked to uh, about MSM that actually works in the distillation facility where we buy our MSM from because we buy directly from a facility that distills it. Um, and he was saying, interestingly enough, the highest content of MSM is in colostrum. So he said, that being said, he said, wouldn't you imagine that MSM had something to do with initially uh, booting up a kid's immune system when we're just you know out of the womb he said and if that's so then possibly sulfur has a lot to do with continued immunologic response both speed and efficacy or efficiency and so he said and guess what there's no labeling requirement for and I said yeah I mean I've always wanted that right there's no you never pick up a label on any food that says how much sulfur is in it. And I believe it's because sulfur is so crucial and most foods are devoid of it completely. Like for example, chocolate has a fairly low amount of sulfur and no vitamin C, contrary to all the, you know, a lot of raw food uh, pundits say, you know, chocolate has, you know, chocolate has zero vitamin C. So that's why we add camu, camu, and MSM. So if you, if you do the, you know, if you go back and listen to the pH thing that we just talked about that yeah. we recorded, so you bump up the, your pH, so, so you've got uh, all that water circulating in your system to deliver uh, all the, um, uh, the, 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 uh, vitamin C, camu, camu is what we use. And, um, MSM and essential fatty acids to your joint material, more than likely all those, uh, that pain will resolve. 
So just drink a whole lot of chocolate less. Yeah, and then for um, uh, for the uh, in, uh, additionally, either externally outside of chocolate bliss or adding to it, you can add additional hemp seeds, all right, which is a really good essential fatty acid. And also uh, either uh, we sell a great coconut oil or you can just get young coconuts. We, we buy, you know, like, I don't know, we go down to the, Yamai goes down to MT Market every couple of weeks and buys like, Five or six cases, like so. That's you know to five. Which markets you go to? MT Market, the oh, big the one up north? Chinese or Oriental yeah. market. They're really Thai there. They aren't Chinese, Thai and Vietnamese. Uh, but each case has nine. So what's that? Now that's forty-five to, um, you know, whatever. You know, it's like five or six cases of nine, and we you know go through that every couple of weeks. And, you know, our joint health is immaculate. Oh, the other thing that's really good for joint health is okra. That slimy substance, that's like, that's like pure silica and um, uh, si it's, like, uh, it's like ingesting pure synovial fluid. And I found this out reading some old uh, doctor, I just don't even remember where I found that. Some old country doctor was treating um, all sort of uh, uh, joint ailments with okra. And he said the best he could figure out, you know, he said, you know, if you if you do if you uh, uh, look at a cadaver and you look at the the texture of okra and synovial fluid, put it in between your fingers, he said it's almost identical. So that's another thing. Like uh, I eat probably a quarter to half a pound of okra every day right now because it's in season. And I started doing that because I've got one. Is it rule? I eat it raw or steam it, either one, just slightly steam it until it's soft. Especially if you got really, I mean, some okra is just hard as a rock, and the only way you can eat it is to steam it a little bit. Mm. So, um, I have to go jump on a plane. No, you got to go jump on a plane. Did that help you with the synovial Absolutely. fluid? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Cool.